What's up, YT PC? This is DSG Pipe Smoker with another pipe smoking video. Smoking by 320 Trevi with some plum pudding in it. If I can find my tamper, I can tamp down my tobacco. Oh, fuck it. In a pinch, your fingers will do just fine. That's not the topic of today's video. The topic of today's video is a, a first impressions of this Devil Ants. The Dagner P5 series Devil Ants. I smoked this pipe at least once, if not twice a day, every day for a little over a week. And so far, it's an amazing performer. Um, it clenches really well. It's extremely light. It. I'm having a hard time deciding what to dedicate it to because it smokes everything really, really well. And that makes me excited about it. Um, another cool thing about it I don't know if you can see inside the bowl there, but it's starting to develop a cake already, and it's starting to develop an even layer of cake, except for the very bottom of the bowl, but I very rarely smoke all the way down to the bottom like that. To me, it's just, it gets too wet down in the bottom of the bowl like that. It's hard to keep lit burns too hot so I don't even bother about 99% of the time the other thing I've noticed about just short pipes in general because I have a, another pipe called a Lolo pipe that I've shown you guys before um, it's about the same length actually as this one and the problem that I've noticed with these shorter pipes is they tend to burn really hot the last half of the bowl. And that's mostly due to the fact that, you know, there's not much travel. Let me hold this up so you guys can see it. There's not much travel between the chamber and the uh, bit. So the smoke doesn't have as much of a chance to cool down. But that's, you know, that's the cost of having a shorter pipe. On the other hand, if it were, say, a church warden, where the stem was really long, yeah, the smoke would be cooler, but you wouldn't get the advantages of having it being short in that it wouldn't be as portable. Seems pretty obvious, right? Um, what else have I noticed about it? It's got a very wide open draw to it, which I like. I like those wide open draws. I don't like, you know, to... Uh, to almost pass out because you're trying to force air through the pipe to get it to stay lit. You know, the pipe has about as wide and open of an airway as this 320. And to give you an idea, this Devil Ants pipe is not... Let me see if I can take the stem off. Because I did clean it. It's taking a rest at the moment, but as you can see, it's unfiltered, and yet it's got this very wide open draw, yet it's comparable to my 320. And my 320 does take a filter. I never use a filter, but it does take a filter. It also tends to stay lit better when you're smoking it rather than talking. But those are my first impressions on that pipe. So far they're really good and I'm really excited to continue to smoke it. I'm not going to do a full review on it for another at least couple of months. In my experience and I haven't been smoking a pipe that long, 
but in the time that I have been smoking a pipe, I've realized that pipes tend to smoke different when they are broken in. You know, usually they'll smoke cooler, usually the the cake that's built up into the chamber will smoke um will smoke drier because it'll absorb that it'll absorb that moisture. So we'll give it another couple of months, a couple two or three months, see what kind of cake it builds up and just go from there. Also I wanted to do a channel update. You might have noticed that I changed the last Thursday Pipe Chat video to the Weekend Pipe Talk or something to that effect. That's because I can't guarantee that I'm going to be able to do Pipe Chats. No, Pipe... I can't guarantee that I can do Pipe Talk Thursday on Thursday. I've been having a hell of a time getting videos to upload. Um, the last video that I uploaded, not the one, not the last one before this one, because I, this is the second video I've recorded today, but the one before that, the Thursday, what was supposed to be the Thursday Pipe Talk, that took about three or four attempts to upload to YouTube, and it just wasn't happening, so... What I'm going to have to do is call it the Weekend Pipe Talk, or the Weekend Pipe Chat, something to that effect. And I'm going to record videos on a Thursday or a Friday, and that'll give me a couple, two or three days to get it up. I still plan on doing a review for Plum Pudding. We've been pretty busy at the locksmith shop and I've been pretty busy with my EMT2 class. I've got a story to tell you guys here eventually about IVs. I know it's not pipe related, but seeing as it that we are a community, it's a little bit more of a personal story and that'll allow you guys to get to know me a little bit better and hopefully it'll spark some discussions. Well, I'm going to finish this bowl of plum pudding. And I, uh, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Until then, this has been DSG Pipe Smoker with another pipe smoking video. You guys have a good day.